China, written by Judy Browse. China, an amazing country. If you were to travel west to the edge of the Pacific Ocean, you'd come to Asia. Asia is the largest continent on the planet, with more land and people than anywhere else in the world. Asia is also home to one of the biggest, most diverse countries in the world, China. China has an incredible mix of people, landscapes, and wildlife. It is the third largest country in the world. Only Russia and Canada are bigger, and it has the largest population in the world. In fact, one out of every five people in the world live in China. That's more than 1.3 billion people. Do you know? China has more than 1,500 rivers, including some of the biggest rivers in the world. The longest river in China is the Yangtze, which is the third longest river in the world. Only the Amazon River in South America and the Nile River in Africa are longer. China is also a country alive with art, music, dance, food, and celebrations, and it's known for amazing cultural sites, from temples and palaces to statues, canals, and the longest hand-built wall in the world. The Chinese also have a long, rich history of learning and inventing. They were the first people to make and use paper, ink, writing, silk cloth, printing, kites, porcelain, gunpowder, the compass, and much more. The Great Wall of China. More than two thousand years ago, the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huangdi, started building the Great Wall. It was designed to keep hostile tribes from invading China. The Great Wall. Which was mostly built by slaves is the longest wall in the world. It's also the largest structure ever built by hand. It is more than six thousand four hundred thirty-seven kilometers, four thousand miles long. It was built wide enough so as many as ten soldiers could march side by side when they patrolled the countryside. Although parts of the Great Wall are crumbling, you can still see many of the more than twenty thousand watchtowers that served as lookout points thousands of years ago. The Great Wall crosses northern China between the east coast and north central China. Wild China. One thing that makes China special is that it has many different kinds of natural places. There are rugged mountain peaks, rocky deserts, tropical forests, and lush valleys. And because China is such a big country with so many different habitats, it has many different kinds of living things. There are giant pandas in the bamboo forests of central China. There are tigers and monkeys in the tropical forests in the south. And there are all kinds of animals and plants that live in and near China's many rivers and streams, including the giant salamander. Unfortunately, China's population has grown so quickly that many plants and animals are losing their habitats. Wild China. One thing that makes China special is that it has many different kinds of natural places. There are rugged mountain peaks, rocky deserts, tropical forests, and lush valleys. And because China is such a big country with so many different habitats. It has many different kinds of living things. There are giant pandas in the bamboo forests of central China. There are tigers and monkeys in the tropical forests in the south. And there are all kinds of animals and plants that live in and near China's many rivers and streams, including the giant salamander. Unfortunately, China's population has grown so quickly that many plants and animals are losing their habitats. For example, scientists say there are fewer than 1,600 pandas left in the wild. The bamboo forests where pandas live are being cut down for farming and houses. Giant panda. The Chinese people are so proud of the giant panda that these animals have become a symbol of their country. Giant pandas live in the steep bamboo forests of China, feeding almost non-stop on these tall, quick-growing grasses. Many pandas will spend more than 16 hours a day chewing bamboo, eating about 10,000 pounds in a year. 
celebrating China from dragons to food. In addition to many natural treasures, China has a rich culture filled with special celebrations, art, music, dance, sports, and food. If you visit China, one of the first artistic things you might notice is the writing. The official language of China is Mandarin, which uses more than six thousand characters instead of the twenty-six letter alphabet used in the English language. Each character stands for a word or a part of a word. Year of the. If you visit in late January or early February, you might be lucky enough to take part in the celebration of the New Year. This is one of China's most important festivals and is celebrated throughout the country. To celebrate the New Year, people take part in colorful parades, wearing bright costumes, and often dressing up as dragons. The dragon is a sign of good luck in China. Fireworks are also a big part of the festivities. Sports are also important to the Chinese. You'll probably see a lot of people playing table tennis, ping pong. The Chinese are some of the best table tennis players in the world. You'll also see a lot of bike riders, since most people get around by bike. Food and Chinese culture go hand in hand. If you've eaten in a Chinese restaurant, then you know that there are many flavors and spices that make Chinese food special. Different regions of China are known for different kinds of food. For example, food from southwestern China is very spicy and often uses chili pepper oil. You might also notice that the Chinese only use two utensils: 